This is Rick and Meg, Irish Hi. Groundhog. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to brew a hard cider, which is what? Three. So Meg's can actually help me because Meg's got celiac disease, right? Super right. sensitive, super sensitive to um, gluten, so she can't even come in contact with the dust. Um, one one speck, if you take one sixty-fourth of a crumb from a piece of toast that you have, that will actually make her sick. So we stay far away from when daddy's doing brews. She stays far away from when I'm doing the grind and, and stuff like that. She helped me out with the mash because she's pretty good with that because she, know, she knows she has to wash really good when she's done. So this is the kit that I'm going to flip it around and, and show you guys the kit that we got. We actually got the crooked apple. I'm super excited to try and try this. We haven't, I've never done a cider before, so this is all new. I got bought the kit and we got a small big mouth bubbler and sanitizer and we're going to actually use some of the sanitizer that we have from my, um, my homebrew stuff to, uh, to work with. So let's take a quick look at that. Let's take a look at the, the kit. Hopefully that does not come out backwards as it looks like it is on my camera. So, without further ado, one of us, is, we were going to try to set, we're doing this on my iPhone, so we were going to try to set this down where we could actually do some work and have it record and actually see what we're doing. But uh, we may switch off and I may have her do some and I'll do the camera work or um, I'll do some work and she'll do the camera work. So just hold on one second. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we've got star sand. So we're going to sanitize everything and keep it in the bucket. We already have our hot water so we can dissolve the uh, bentonite. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So we'll sanitize stuff, set it aside, start, start the process. I got the directions right here. Really is no boiling or anything involved. So it's already kind of pre-made. We got our um, juice right here. So Megs is doing the, the camera work. I'm going to start sanitizing. We'll set stuff aside so that way it's all ready. Put that upside down. I think one of the coolest things out of this kit is, is, is the glass big mouth bubbler. I've always wanted to try one of these. I'm super excited. I know I keep saying I'm super excited, but I think it's really cool. Actually, you can get your hand inside to clean it afterwards is, is, a, is a nice thing. So. Let's okay. set that. So we kind of, whoa, that's super bright. Well, all right, anyway, oh. sanitize stuff. Megan's laughing at me. <laughs> leave that in here, sanitize the inside. Give it a quick squirt. Don't fear the foam. Sanitize this, set it aside. We need this sanitize. That's gonna get hot water so we can dissolve the bet bentonite. Two, uh, three, two cups, right, 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 yeah. right, two cups. You just spilled spill some. Little. That's okay. A little extra, right? Because we're going to end up going up to, filling it to one gallon. Okay. There we go. Scissors. Bent right. Whoa, check that out. Alright, let's leave that there. Fully dissolved. Mm. Ah. All right, what we're going to do is we'll pause it while I'm stirring it. We want to dissolve everything, so we'll come back when we start to put in the juice. Okay. So, the next step we're going to do is add the juice. We've got all that bentonite dissolved. This is our juice and the crooked apple. Oh, I don't even have to cut it. Check that out. Look at that. Come from a nice cap. 
How the hell do you get it off? I'm gonna end up wearing it. Yeah, you could. Just turn. Just come on. Alright. We'll pause, we'll figure out how to get it off, and then we'll be right back. Good. And we're back. Alright. Figured out how to get it off. It just popped right off. I had to use something to get it off. It smells pretty good. So we're gonna dump this right in. And then we're gonna use some hot water. Well, warm water. Top it off. Put it in a little bit. Said to use two cups, but as long as we don't go over the over the one gallon mark, we'll be fine. Looks pretty good. Now the next step, we're gonna have to let's set this down out of the way. Get it all out. Get it all out. Get it all out. Let's uh, set this down. Check and see where we're at for water level. Okay. See the one gallon mark is right there. So we're plenty. We don't want to so now we need to top it off with cool water, but we want to make sure the temperature is right. Because it says that it needs to be between 72 and 77. So right now we're at 83. <laughs> we'll give it a stir. <laughs> Let's give it a stir and see what we get. It's like it's 83 degrees. All right, so. Make it with the other hand, hold that one. All right, 84. So we'll get cold water here. So now we're gonna put the cold water in. And we'll go up to the one gallon mark. We're almost there. All right, we're right there. Perfect. Look at that. 77 degrees. All right, so now it says stir vigorously. And I'm making a mess for 30 seconds. So we'll pause it while I stir it for 30 seconds because we're trying to save space on my iPhone. And then we'll come back and add these. Okay, we're back. We're gonna check our temperature real quick. We got, I don't know if you guys can see that, 76 degrees, perfect. Meg will pull the temperature probe out. Just hang it right there. It's all right. And now she's going to sprinkle it champagne yeast. Just make sure you get it on the top. She's just going to sprinkle it in. And it says not to mix it in, so we're just going to sprinkle it on. Wow, there's a lot in here. Mm -hmm. Make sure it all comes out. Perfect. Excellent. Now, right, I'll put the cover on. Okay, you hold that. Get it. Put the cover on. Get an airlock. Right up into the, the ball. My kingdom's full of bone! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll pause and find the bung and then we'll fill the airlock and put it in. Hold on one second. 